Hey everyone, it's Sarah and I am here with Charlotte because I've been kind of mentioning in some other videos that Charlotte loves Avatar so much. Like, it's her favorite movie ever. Um, she's got so many Avatar things. She's got Avatar jewelry, Avatar figures, like all of the figures that you could find. We've got Avatar books. Um, what else do we have? All of it. We've got Avatar everything. So of course, when she saw that the House of Siage um, had Avatar fragrances, she had to have them. Um, so directly after filming this video, I'm going to film a declutter vid video because I went through my collection. Um, I'm not done, but this is tentatively like the fragrances that I'm going to declutter um, because I've got to you know, I've got to sell a bunch of my perfumes so we can buy her the actual bottle of Avatar perfume because she has to have that. Um, it's beautiful. Like the bottle is gorgeous. And yeah, so we saw though that the amplifier set was on sale at House of Siage. It was like $56. Um, originally 125 so my husband went ahead and grabbed it for her and yeah this is what we're going to be talking about today the amplifier set they did send a whole bunch of samples though and i do want to mention a couple that were that are so so good you guys know i like house of siage i think they're fine i just think they're quite overpriced for what they are and you're mostly paying for the packaging um but that's okay when they make something that is like limited edition and is something that she loves so much she never asks really for anything um so and she's my only child so i'll do what i have to do to make sure she gets that bottle of perfume um but anyways one of the fragrances that i fell in love with is this mini mouse fragrance right here um there's nothing groundbreaking about it. It's marshmallow, raspberry, and vanilla though, and it smells amazing. And it's more marshmallow than anything. It's like very marshmallow heavy. Um, to me, it smells like cotton candy. Oh my gosh, yeah. It does smell like cotton candy. But it's amazing. I thank goodness Genre is going to be making a perfume um, that smells like it. I'm so excited. So there was that one. That one was standout to me. And then the other standout was this Harry Potter collection here. Um, the Hufflepuff one. The Hufflepuff one is, I don't even know what's in it. And you almost can't smell it in here anymore, but the Hufflepuff one is so, so good. It's another yummy gourmand. Um, so the, the real, the actual avatar perfume, this is really nice. Um, it's really, really nice. It's a little bit basic smelling, but not like super basic. It's not like, you know, it's definitely a little bit unique. It definitely matches though the whole aquatic theme. Um, so the top notes in it are bergamot, pear, and cassis. The heart notes are rose, tuberose, and ylang ylang, and the base notes are amberwood, musk, and tree moss. Um, I really, I think it's really beautiful. The bottle is stunning. It's $450 though, so it's a little excessive, but it's fine. I'm just, you know, we're gonna make it happen. Okay, so let's get into the amplifier set. Um, this is what the box looks like. It's really, really pretty. You open it with this little string here or little ribbon, and then there are your four amplifiers. So um, the first one, I'm gonna show you. All the bottles look the same. They all look the same, except they've got different little things on the back. So this is the one called Ocean. Oh, actually, they've got different little designs. So this one has like a little elu with somebody writing it on the front. And then on the back, it's got one of the Tulkun things. Um, the bottles are stunning. They're ombre. They go from like yellow to green to kind of turquoise to like a deep blue. Um, these are a dropper style. So they're kind of meant to be layered with the real perfume. But I'm going to tell you guys... These are all perfumes. These are all fully complete perfumes on their own. They all have top notes, middle notes, and base notes. So it's not like you're just getting like a one note, you know, to layer with. No, these are all perfumes in their own right, which I was really impressed by that. I was like, you know, for and they're they're each half an ounce. So we basically got two 
ounces of House of Siage fragrance for like $57. Um, even at $125, you know, two, ounce, two ounces of House of Siage fragrance, even for $125, I think is really not bad. And, but that just shows you how much of the packaging, how much you're paying for the actual packaging. Um, but these are, like I said, they're really nice fragrances in their own right. Um, so this one is called Ocean. Here, you hold this up and I'm gonna, um, and why don't you go ahead and smell it and kind of tell them what you think. That one is called Ocean. And that one says, the scent of a perfect seascape. Fresh and lively green, marine notes mingle with luminous solar notes and amber, while juicy watermelon, pear, and grapefruit are on top. Bring the serene healing powers of the water with you everywhere you go. And Charlotte has worn every single one of these and she loves them. Um, I think that they're beautiful. It's really um, like fruity, I guess. Fruity from the watermelon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The watermelon is just, it's, it's there. Yeah. And pear. It's got yes, pear in pear. it too. This is like kind of like, it's mostly unisex, but it like a man could wear this yeah it okay. smells kind of cologne -y. yeah yeah i definitely agree it is very unisex but i could definitely smell this on a man it's very citrusy very fresh you definitely get the kind of fresh watery juicy watermelon and pear um it's really beautiful and like i said it's pretty amazing that you get it's like four actual perfumes when i saw amplifier set i was like oh it's gonna be like you know one or two or three note things that will change the way that the original perfume smells no these are all perfumes in their own right which i just thought was pretty pretty cool so anyways that one is the first one is called ocean okay the next one we have is called reef and this one is pretty it's got like fish on the front and then just some fish on the back reef does not smell beachy at all to me reef is a rose and saffron scent and it's kind of heavy and very cold weather um, appropriate it's definitely rose saffron fragrance so it says prepare to explore the magnis magnificent reefs with precious saffron combined with mysterious notes of rose deepened with amber and musk. So yeah, mostly a rose saffron um, combination. It's warm, it's, you know, a little bit spiced smelling. It's heavy, it's a heavy scent. It smells cold, like winter. It smells a little bit, It to me it smells very Middle Eastern. Um, anytime I smell that rose saffron combination, I really get Middle Eastern. It definitely, to me, it doesn't smell like the ocean or aquatic at all, which, you know, I don't mind because I don't think it would have been very interesting to get four aquatic scents. Um, I think it's, and I'm really interested to see what that one's going to smell like layered with the actual perfume. Um, it's going to be neat because when she layers these all with the, with her actual perfume, it's gonna be like she has four or five different perfumes, you know, cause she'll have the original perfume on its own and then she'll have, you know, she'll be able to layer each one of these amplifiers with the original perfume and it's gonna give her like a totally different perfume. It's very much a rose saffron combination. Yeah, the rose is like really heavy to me. It is, it's heavy, a heavy rose. So anyways, that one is called Reef. All right, next we have Rainforest. This is my favorite bottle because I love these little wood sprites or Charlotte knows the actual name for them. They're not wood sprites. What are they? Atakina. Oh, well, she knows how to say the word. I can't, so, but. Exactly how it's spelled. Well, but I don't even know what it's, how it's spelled. <laughs> A-T-O-K-I-R-I-N-A. -I -I oh. Okay, well, I love them. I'll call them wood sprites because I'm a loser and I don't, you know, I don't have, I don't speak Navi. But anyways, this one is called Rainforest. It's got the beautiful little, um, let's see if I can get it to, I don't know if you guys can see that. My camera doesn't like to zoom in on shiny things, but the, the little like wood sprite things. Okay, Rainforest. Ugh. I love Rainforest. I think this is my favorite one. 
Um, it says, dare to enter the depths of rich and luscious rainforest with juicy notes of lemon, coconut, and apple enhanced by floral notes of tuberose and ylang ylang. The scent is deepened with cedar, amber, and musk. Yeah, I think this one's my favorite. You definitely get the beautiful coconut, tuberose, ylang ylang combination, but you also have the freshness of the lemon and the apple in the top, and it is beautiful. So it's a tiny bit fruity, it's fresh, it's warm, it's sweet, and it's got that beautiful coconut in it. But the coconut's not overpowering, and it's not a creamy coconut, it's a fresh coconut. Um, it's beautiful, I think that one is my favorite and I'm super excited to see what that one smells like layered with um, layered with the, the actual perfume. It smells like fresh and sweet at the same time. Mm -hmm. And the lemon is like, it's, it's, it's like really heavy, but like, it's a little alcoholy too, but like in a good way. Yeah. It's really, it's a pretty one. It's really pretty. It also smells a little like, like a man could wear this. Oh yeah. It smells like how, it, it smells rainforesty. It does. Mm -hmm. Like a tropical rainforest. Yes, it smells very tropical. Yeah. You can smell the apple in there too. It's good. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's really, really pretty. Yeah. Ugh, yeah, I love this. I really get the tuberose in this one too, which I absolutely love. So yeah, this is my favorite. It's my favorite bottle and it's my favorite scent. So that is the Rainforest one. And then last, we've got Sky. And Sky is a crisp, clean fragrance inspired by the liberating feeling of soaring the open sky. This subtle and breezy scent with bright citrus notes of mandarin, lemon, sorry, with bright citrus notes of mandarin, lemon, caviar, meets fresh lily of the valley and aquatic notes, transports you to the sky's limits. So Charlotte's just putting this one on. Yeah, because it smells like a little alcohol -y, so we would be able to like get the, full, get the full smell of it. Yeah, so these bottles, they're like dropper bottles, kind of like a serum bottle, um, kind of like a, a skincare like serum bottle, but yeah, this one is beautiful too. This is probably my second favorite one. This one's really fresh and crisp smelling. It's very, very citrusy in the top, but you definitely get the beautiful lily of the valley in the middle, and it's a fresh lily of the valley. It's like a fresh, crisp, green lily of the valley. It says aquatic notes, but it doesn't smell super aquatic to me. It smells really fresh, like a fresh citrusy Lily of the Valley fragrance. It's really gorgeous. And this one has, it has one of the, is that an Ikran? Ikran. 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 It's got an Ikran on it. So, um, yeah. So anyways, that one is called Sky. And... Yeah, we're super excited. Charlotte is definitely super excited to have these. I was just super excited for her to have them because she loves Avatar so much. Um, and yeah, it's just, I don't wanna keep covering her face, but yeah, that's it's just such a cute little set. Um, and she's super excited to get the, the actual bottle of perfume, which is, gonna be so pretty mm -hmm. and it smell it does actually smell really nice they also sent a sample card of these these are just like it just says perfume amplifiers and it says wellness collection um and some of those ones are really nice too i smell these and they're really interesting they are those ones are very like, interesting they smell really different from anything else yeah but I'm telling you guys, the Minnie Mouse and the Hufflepuff are so good. And when I heard that the genre is coming out with dupes of them, I was so Especially ecstatic. This is really interesting. I've, Chill out. Yeah. I've, Ooh, yeah. I've never smelled anything like that. Um, and that one. 
the yellow one. Chill out smells it's like it's got a little bit of tomato in it or something. Yeah. Yeah, the Jumpstart one is has coffee in it. Yes. It's got a ton of coffee in it. It's so nice. So anyways, guys, that is the Avatar um, perfume amplifier set. We will definitely um, share the bottle with you when we get the bottle. I'm going to go film a declutter video right now so you guys can see what I have to let go of in order to pay for that $450 bottle of perfume. I do hope that you all enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Bye.